What's going on everyone? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today is kind of a snap-on diagnostic tool haul because I had previously ordered various products to go with my diagnostic scan tool that just took that long to get here. Other things I ended up buying along the way as I've been talking with various diagnosticians within the Facebook snap-on diagnostic group. A lot of really solid recommendations. Really want to give one big special shout out to Brandon from Jarhead Diagnostics who hooked it up with this pulse sensor tester as well as a handful of these wires that already have your scope leads attachments on them and the wires they got little pins so you can take the TPA and the, the connector that you're trying to test apart and you can actually put these in and test and so forth. I've only seen a handful of these uh, styles actually being utilized in various diagnostic videos uh, but there's a lot of great channels out there and I'll make sure to put some of these diagnostic channels down in the description but for sure make sure to check out Jarhead Diagnostics make sure to check out Cody's Diagnostics make sure to check out Practical Mechanic make sure to check out Mario's Diagnostics make sure to check out Polly's Auto make sure to check out Keith DeFazio I mean the list is getting deeper and deeper guys there's a lot of guys out there that are now doing a lot of diagnostic videos and I think it's great, especially for guys like me that have been in the industry for a minute but still haven't really developed uh, into a solid diag guy. I'd like to get to use this scan tool plus various products a lot more to get proficiently better. I also picked up a, uh, a low amp clamp but it's a 60 amp one from Snap-on. A lot of love hate here, okay? Some of the guys that have it love it. Some of the guys that have had it that didn't love it went a different route. I'm sure they'll go ahead and tell you down in the comments. And they strongly suggested checking out uh, one of these specific amp clamps from AES Wave. And I'll make sure to put the AESWave.com or you can just type in AES, AESWave.com and check it out for yourselves. But there's a couple of amp clamps over there that they recommended over the Snap-on one. Apparently you get less static, it's a lot more clear image, etc. Me still getting used to it and I was able to put this on the credo when I got the scan tool, extremely happy that I got that to go with it because it is a Snap-on product. If I have any kind of an issue, the one thing that Snap-on Diagnostics can't tell me, and this is the reason why I ended up sticking with a lot of the different accessories myself from them, is this because if I have an issue, they can't say, well, that's not the, the Snap-on recommended one. And, well, that's not because that's because you bought an aftermarket one, not the Snap-on one. Well, they can't say that about the various adapters that I'm going to be utilizing with my Zeus because most of the adapters, transducers, uh, the, the inductive RPM pickup that I picked up, got another adapter here that would plug into the Zeus and on the other end I've got another connection here that I can connect into channel one or channel two and then of course it's got a, this is for, this is a pressure transducer kit for zero up to 100 PSI but if I needed to like thread this down, let's say for oil pressure or something like that, I can clip it in and get a true read on that. So I think that's phenomenal. I was actually pretty tickled about that. Another product that Brandon went ahead and sent us was a couple of these piercing probes. So I'm killer excited to try those out and see how well I like them as well. Okay, we did get our scan tool back. Yes, it took about, see they didn't have it after week one. They missed week two, so I guess we're going two and a half weeks. All right, so I haven't really been doing too, too much with Diag stuff in the last month since I've had this thing. But also understand, I've been without the Zeus for two and a half weeks now. Two and a half weeks is a long turnaround time to get it updated from Windows 7 over to Windows 10. The one little oops, our bad, that they did was they did not send us out the new dongle for the Windows 10 platform. They sent back the old one. So, Garrett, my Snap-on rep, had to make a phone call and try to see if he couldn't get a Windows 10 dongle sent out. He said, hopefully the Windows 7 dongle will still work, but uh, they should have given you the upgraded dongle when they did the Windows 10 upgrade. Okay, cool, so we wait for that. I did get a docking station, so you will see that the Zeus is actually sitting on a docking station right now here at the house. Funny story here, so when I got the docking station, very excited about it, right, I had it pre-ordered, surprised it took almost a month to get because I had ordered it literally the same day that I had uh, went with the Zeus. 
took almost a month to get here, right? The other thing was is that it cost $375 for this docking station. Let me just show you something here real quick. So there's a Zeus, right? Let me set this off to the side. Here's the docking station. Now you can lay it back at a 45 like that so it's tilted up for ease of viewment. You can lock that in place and keep it stood up. They have four USB chargers here on the front, an HDMI to the left, and a VGA to the right. So if you wanted to hook this up to a big old screen TV and see what the, uh, what the Zeus is showing you, you could. You wanted to hook up a mouse, keyboard, that kind of thing here, you could. 375 bucks. Here's my question for Snap-on. Seriously, I get it every dime, every time. Snap-on needs to make some money. Put that one down the banks, copy written by Justin Dow. But leave it to Snap-on, right? Every dime, every time, they gotta take every single dime from you that they possibly can. For $375 for a piece of plastic with a few ports on it that probably cost you less than 100 bucks to make, you can't toss in a battery charging cable to go with the dock because what if a guy like myself did not get the dock for free with their scan tool? What if a guy like myself that likes doing a few at home code scans and just wants to get to know his scan tool better and wants to play around with it, what if he wants to leave it on a permanently designated charging station at his house but then have a battery charging cable tucked away in his toolbox at work just in case the scan tool dies before he can plug it back in at the end of the day, right? Because I don't know how often I'm going to use this, how often I need it on, if I'm flipping through Direct Hit or Mitchell or if I'm flipping through all data, how long I need the screen open for or using it on a car and so forth because when you plug the dongle in, unlike the Direct Connect Apollo, unlike the Triton, Unlike the, uh, the Solus Edge that I had or the Ethos Pro, okay, those ones, if you plugged them into the DLC connector, they charge the tablet. I'm sorry, they charge the scan tool. This being a tablet, this being a dongle, it's all ran off of its own battery, which is attached to the back of the scan tool. So it does die. And when it does die, obviously you need a way to be able to charge it. I just think it would be wildly beneficial to the technician that orders the docking station to have the option to have an additional cable with it. Again, you're spending 375 bucks for the dock. Give a man a cable to plug into it for crying out loud. Okay, rant over. Garrett felt a little bit bad about me not getting the upgraded dongle, it taking a week and a half longer than I was originally promised and that I was unaware that the docking station was not already tied into my bill as far as having it on my credit, which is what I was trying to do when I first ordered it. Uh, so as a result, he said, my bad dog, and gave me a free car. Now I know, okay, look, it's a die cast car. It looks freaking sweet, right? Snap on number two. It's a nice, it's a nice I'm sorry kind of a deal. And you know what, I get it, you know? He's still relatively new to the business. He doesn't know all the ins and outs. I'm sure that he didn't know uh, that I wanted this docking station incorporated into the actual loan when I signed the agreement because I was buying a couple other things that I wanted to do cash in the truck and instead he put it on the truck instead of into the agreement. I know that he doesn't have any control over how quick I got the dang tablet back or the upgraded dongle that didn't come with it, etc. But he's doing his best, right? So it's a kind of nice little, I'm sorry, kind of a card, if you will. Uh, I got some back pin probes from Tool Aid, which you guys might have seen in the last video if you watched it at all. And I also had gotten the Relay Bypass Switch Kit with Amp Loop, okay? You guys might have seen those last time. Maybe you didn't. I know some guys miss one or two videos here and there, so I'm just trying to catch everyone up with the diagnostic stuff that I had gotten. This is the uh, inductive RPM pickup. So I got that to clamp around on the spark plug wires, right? And I can take the other end and plug it into my little apparatus here. Where's it at? There we go. 
shabam, shabam, right? Now we can see the RPM signal. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty dope. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video. Look, thanks as always for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed today's content. I've been extremely lucky and grateful to have the kind of uh, friends and acquaintances that I communicate socially with through Facebook, through YouTube, uh, with their channels and everything else, with them using this stuff. I'm like, hey guys, you got a video that shows me how to use this, et cetera. Bam, out. someone's usually pretty quick to send me to the, uh, the URL link that sends me over to their channel to watch the video. So really, really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks as always for watching my channel. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Rock and roll, right? Cheers and deuces.